Let's bring in Laura Trump, host of the Right View podcast. Laura, good to have you on. You know, the left, they, they keep trying this. They, they think MAGA extremist again is some sort of derogatory term, but they should be emulating it because you're winning, aren't we? Well, I think that they need to start talking about what people who are part of the Make America Great Again movement and the MAGA movement really want and who they are. And these are moms and dads. These are business owners. These are people who consider themselves to be patriots, who love this country. These are people who just want to get their their life and their feet back under them, who have really been put through it over the past two and a half years since Joe Biden and the Democrats took over. And it is a, not a derogatory thing to say that you are part of the MAGA movement. Now, they put the word extremists on it, of course, to have a certain inflection in what it means. But we all know that people who back my father-in-law, who voted for him in 2016 and 2020 and are looking forward to voting for him in 2024 are simply people who believe in the American dream and want to get it back. And yes, we are winning, Eric. Yes, we are every single day getting more and more people on the side of the conservatives. The Republican Party continues to gain voters because we have seen how detrimental the Democrats and Joe Biden have been to this country in such a short period of time. And people know, quite frankly, we can't handle any more of it. You know, it was the, the straw poll out of TPUS. It was incredible. I think your father-in-law got something 80 plus percent of the vote. You know who did not have a good weekend? I'll tell you who didn't have a good weekend. Mike Pence did not have a good weekend. Oh. Starting on Friday, he sat down with Tucker and Tucker at a forum and Tucker, you know, just kind of pressed him on his stance on foreign aid and whatnot. And when he said, well, what is that? How does that relate to the American people? Tucker asked him and his response. And we'll put the screen up right here. That's not my concern. Wow. Laura, take it away. Yeah. You know, I actually went back and rewatched this, Eric, because I said, how is it possible that Mike Pence could have said something like this? Um, and yet he did. And then you hear the, the rest of his answer to the question. The truth is that there are a lot of people who are running for president on the Republican side. I mean, this field is so big and it's, it's growing. It feels like by the day. And people want, you know, a couple of things. They want to elevate their name. They want to run for vice president in many respects. But I think what the, you know, the turning point speech from my father-in-law showed us, as well as a lot of these interviews that Tucker did over the weekend and on Friday showed people, is that there is one person who is ready for the job of president of the United States running for the Republican ticket. That, of course, is Donald J. Trump. He is the head of this party. He changed this party. No one can dispute it. And everyone, by the way, who is running for the Republican side of the ticket is running on the platforms that Donald Trump put in place. So I think this this weekend, if there was any question who will be the Republican nominee, you know now it's Donald J. Trump. Very quick answer to this, Laura. You may choose not to. Um, one of the reasons what something happened over the weekend at Turning Point, your father-in-law mentioned Fox News and six or seven thousand young people booed. The crowd booed audibly, loudly and kept going. And it may have something to do with what they did to Tucker. But your thoughts on on that new um, kind of turn of events? Yeah, well, I mean, I think Fox has put themselves in, in a bit of a bad spot recently. Losing Tucker was very detrimental for them. And you see it in their ratings. You see it in, and by the way, the, the ratings of Newsmax going up. People are, are out there seeking alternatives. Fox was, was it for a long time, but we do live in a time where we have more options for conservative media out there. And I think people are excited to see what's out there and, and see what else they can get a hold of. And, um, you know, they do have a little ground to make up, I think, when it comes to a lot of, of folks on the right over at Fox. So we'll see what happens with them. We shall see. As they say, Laura Trump, really good having you on. Thank you for joining us.